Hey, welcome to Peru. And now we saying goodbye to Colombia and Brazil. Now we're going to do uh, around six weeks in Peru. We start with a journey to Iquitos. So uh, yeah, this is the locals. Funny, funny people. <laughs> so this, I mean, this took me like 15 hours to go on this riverboat <laughs> during the night. And uh, you, you can see the view is amazing here. Really amazing. Yeah. Uh, and then now we have just passed like a, not a border control, but uh, a pass control with a lot of uh, policemen because this is uh, a narcotic route a lot of uh, a lot of drugs is ships during <laughs> on this uh, journey no not on this boat but uh, but here is the next morning he arrived in Iquitos and uh, yeah and the next day I went to the market in Iquitos very very good experience it's called body the Berlin market yeah I will really recommend you to go there I was there during the rainy season so the market was very flooded uh, <laughs> and a lot of people ask me did I, did I eat a guinea pig in Peru and the answer is wait for it Wait for it, and wait for it. Is this skinny pig? No, this is some uh, some uh, Amazonian delicatessen. <laughs> so I did not eat guinea pig in Peru, actually. Uh, but here we have Amazonian cigarettes, a lot of tobacco. <laughs> I'm not a smoker, but this cigarette was very big. Yeah. Do you see the different, yeah. the different wood? Oh, yeah. Different the tree, you yeah. say, uh, to watch what plant, this take a prepare in the bottle, uh, this is a producer. Oh, okay. It's a producer, my friend. Cut clothes, tawari, kamiwaska, ubos. Okay, this ubos here is good for the woman, for example. The cleaning your, your pussy. Oh, yeah. You are. You stay cool. Oh, it's amazing. Okay. What did you see the time of time? For example, this is perfume. This is perfume for the low portion. This says, Sigueme, Sigueme. Oh. This is, come on, come on, I love you, I love you, come oh, on. Okay. This says, Sigueme, Sigueme in Spanish. <laughs> this is patchouli. Here is a lovely woman. <laughs> really lucky. <love me. laughs> so now we are leaving Iquitos. I'm going to my next destination in uh, in uh, in Peru and the Amazonas. <laughs> a lot of tuk-tuks. Here is like a mini bus. Yeah. Funny people. Yeah. And now we are in Natoa, eating some lunch, typical South American uh, lunch, chicken, su soup, <laughs> and beans <laughs> at the local restaurants. And now um, we'll take a new speedboat through the Amazonas. This will be my last boat on the uh, Amazonas. Altogether, I spent like six weeks in the Amazonas in Colombia, Brazil. And Peru, I think six weeks or more, yeah, around six weeks. Uh, so this, yeah, I think yeah, this is the boat I'm looking at now. This will be my home for like 15 hours or something. And here is yeah, it's it's very cool to see how they transport everything in the Amazonas. And yeah, so now I'm. On the last boat in the Amazonas, 
Yay! Yeah. Okay, now we're going to see how the toilet is. Just how the toilet situation on these boats. Uh, I did only find the toilet for a, for, for a man, so I don't know how, how the woman do, does. <laughs> but you see the views here is amazing. And how much did this cost? I think it cost overnight, cost 20 US dollars or something. Uh, yay! So the next morning I arrived to something called Yurumanguas. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, it was a quiet time but still nice. And uh, yeah. So this is a little bit. Uh, <laughs> a fun experience to take this boat. With the locals. It's all. It's like buses on the river. And uh, really. Really recommend you also you see the like the local life you experience local people um, yeah yeah <laughs> the next day I'm leaving Tara going to something called Tarapota Tarapoto Tarapota I took a, a taxi it's also this cost ten US dollars. Uh, to my uh, my next destination in Peru. Yeah, still in the Amazon, actually, but not on the river. So this is the first car so uh, car ride in like five weeks. And my first waterfall in Peru, yay! Uh, if you have followed me a lot, I have seen a lot of waterfalls, but this it was one very good waterfall in Tarpoto. Tarpoto? Yeah, something called that, something like that. Yeah, and now I'm on the way to the beach in Peru. On a 20 hour bus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a, when you go to South America, it's a lot of buses, 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 buses. And uh, here is like the stop for eating breakfast. Uh, yeah. The weather is nice. <laughs> yeah. And finally at the beach. So now I'm traveling in the Amazonas from. Uh, believe in Brazil to this place in Peru and I have a lazy day I've spent like seven days here just relaxing relaxing and see so some old uh, some old uh, ruins as well and maybe you will ask me why did you not go to Machu Picchu it's because I was in Machu Picchu uh, 10 years ago I was in Machu Picchu this is my second time in Peru uh, my second time in South America actually as well so, but it was a good beach town like a big mixture of surfing local also a lot of uh, tourists from US Europe Germany of course and from Netherlands yeah but it was a very chill place. It was perfect for me just to chill for a week. And now we come to the... <laughs> this was a very beautiful track. But whoever, whatever, <laughs> I was so sick on this track. <laughs> not yet, not yet, not yet. We have, just, we have not started yet, but... You will see, you will see. I was so the attitude sickness here was I was sick that was the first I have ever feel on my travel uh, and I did much picture was fine and if you have seen Nepal 
But Nepal was one year later than this, so I, I learned my lesson. Now we are up on 4,000 meters, a little bit more. And I'm saying that I'm feeling, feeling very out of breath. <laughs> and I'm saying that maybe it's because I, I drank a lot of beers and Caprinha in Brazil. Maybe that's also the problem. <laughs> I was out of shape. If you can say, <laughs> but the nature is is beautiful. It's we say this. This is supposed to be one of the world's finest track you can do. <laughs> but I finally made it, made it up to four thousand seven hundred meters. <laughs> I say this is the first first thing I have ever done in my life. <laughs> I cannot know. I don't know if it's true, but. Uh, my my heart was like pumping as hell, <laughs> but this you can see the the view is amazing. Uh, it was that was it was a little bit sad that that I was so sick of this track. <laughs> yeah, but you cannot get everything in life. Sometimes you get sick. Sometimes everything is okay. But you, I learned a lot uh, how to hike on this on this track. You see here, I'm I'm very thick here. <laughs> but we are, yeah, I'm getting uh, not better actually. I'm I'm more sick now than I, I was before. <laughs> I I was in I was sick for almost one week or two weeks after the truck i was in lima for one week and just laid in bed and yeah i fixed my computer in lima as well but i was just super sick after this track I was vomiting and everything and then i went to arequipa after lima i went to arequipa and met up with my friend sophie and i spent like a few few days in arequipa with her and he was also relaxing and saw some uh, animals <laughs> and some old cars. This is supposed to be the Peruvian national car. And then was there was like a midsummer party in uh, Peru. Uh, that was fun. It was also a, little, a good mixture of local. You met a lot of Peruvian as well and also backpackers. So it was a very it was a very social uh, time here, and uh, yeah. So it's like well, there was during the Swedish midsummer, and this is so it was like the midsummer celebration here as well, uh, not the same, but something else they celebrated. But it was, it was fun. Everyone was out and eating, and yeah. Hello, <laughs> and now. I'm doing a new hike, Kolka Canyon hike. Uh, it was two days, one night, two days. Uh, it's also was not that high. I don't remember. But it was way lower. I think it was around three thousand meters or something. And it was for you. You just walk down the canyon, and then you the next day you you walk up the canyon. And here, do you do you see the pool down there? This is the goal tonight. Yeah, here I am at the pool area. I made it down. Yeah, pool, pool, pool. And the next day we are going up now. Going back up. And you see the donkeys. Uh, if you were very lazy, you can take a donkey up. But I was not lazy this time. And also, I feel quite good as well. No attitude sickness or anything. And this is was two weeks after. I think two two weeks after uh, Santa Cruz track. So I was fine. And here I made it up. Yay! Yay. <laughs> yeah. And this is almost the end of the the Peruvian adventure. Uh, 
and uh, uh, maybe I was in Peru for five, four weeks. Yeah, four weeks was four weeks in Peru. Uh, but I really like Peru as well. I really want to go back there as well. I want to go back <laughs> and do some other hikes and other adventures. Um, but the world is big, so maybe I don't have the time to go back to Peru. Uh, but we will see. Maybe, maybe in the future. So uh, here I'm taking uh, almost 40 hours bus ride to the top of the Peru. I was, uh, Arequipa is very in south, and I'm going to the north of of Peru because I want to go to Ecuador afterwards. 40 hours later, yeah, I am in a beach called Mount Cora Beach. Uh, also, like a surf place. Uh, yeah, I did not like the beach that much. Actually, it was not that it was not the best beach I have experienced. But it was a beach. Uh, but Peru for me is mountains. Hiking in mountains is Peru. So if you go to Peru, don't go for the beaches, go for the mountains. Uh, I think the mountains is one of the, uh, one, of, one of the most beautiful mountains in the world. Like uh, the Andes in Peru is very, is super nice. Even if I was sick on the, on the track, I still, uh, the views up there. And the weather was also very nice. Yeah, so it's Peru. Nepal is yeah is my favorite destination for hiking. Uh, I, would, I would say, and Norway, Norway is also very beautiful. Uh, yeah, but here I am in the, in the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and I am in Ecuador now. So the next video will be in Ecuador, Ecuador. See you, see you guys. Bye.